Okay, so the last time you saw this, we just had the scratch coat with the mortar mix. Now, we have the white, authentic, southwestern mud caked on look. And I did this with a plaster. Um, and Gina last night started to paint these bricks with a little peach colored paint mixture that she made. She is up on the ladder now and uh, making some good time, don't you think, Gina? Yeah. Getting it done. Yeah, what is, uh, what you gonna do after this? Um, after this, I think I'm gonna leave these bricks this color, but I'll still go in since there's some plaster on them. And I'll just clean them up a little bit. And um, we've got to put a bell up there. And we're gonna put like a little guardrail around there. And um, yeah, that'll pretty much be it, I think. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll oh, start I working. Gotta, of course, age the whole thing so it's not like bright, pretty white. But that'll just be, you know, a watered down black and brown, gray, you know. <laughs> Runs and whatnot. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I am working on the windows, the uh, actual shutters that are going to go behind the uh, decorative balusters that we put inside the mission windows. And you can see I've got the uh, backing board, which they're going to get painted black. And then I've got the four shutters that I cut out of uh, half inch plywood. And then I drew my kind of like my layout of the way it's gonna go. So this is gonna have some pieces going this way on top and bottom. I'm gonna cut out these diamond shapes so that you can see the, uh, the black background. And then I will just split all these right in half to make it look like it's two different pieces of wood. But I just wanted to show you, I just took a, a measure, measured everything out and kind of just guesstimated on sizes of what I thought would look good. and. We are gonna go from there. All right, I got the top painted, all nice and peach colored. And here is some sun shining on it so you can see. And that is just too peach and it looks painted. So, <laughs> you know me, I went and I gave the bricks a little definition. So I stippled some gray color and some brown color and now those two are done and just on the door and the um, window. I haven't even started to touch those yet, but this looks so much better. And when you get up really close, yeah, you can tell that it's painted, but when you're far away, it looks good. Okay, so I got them all shot together with a finish nail and got the squares cut out. So they are all one piece. Um, Gina painted the uh, two backer boards black and now she's just going to uh, apply some vinegar to these things and make them look a little aged and stuff and then they'll be ready to install on the mission. All right, so Chris just made these and these go in back of the windows on the mission and I just took vinegar and put this on and look at how quick that ages. I know I've showed you guys this before but I know some of you guys are new subscribers and you may not have seen the vinegar solution yet so I'll post a little link right here and that's how you make fresh wood look old and this wood is reacting really good. I'm a happy girl. Alright, so all the bricks are done and even the bricks in the building are finished now. And I'll show you an up close of that. Right there. And now what I'm doing, oh look what Chris put in today. So that's awesome. And then I'll show you this one, right there, if you guys can see that, the shadow's kind of weird, and more bricks, but now I'm going around and I'm doing the definition line around everything, and then I'll hose this puppy down, and this one, I don't care if this one has runs on it, for some reason I was a little more picky with the jail, but 
This one I think will look good with some runs. Yeah, buddy. All right, everyone, here is the finished mission. Or should I say mission complete? Ha ha ha. Um, this was so much fun, but so much work and really detailed in there. There are three different colors, all intermixed to make those bricks have more definition. And if you get really close, you can tell, focus, that it's sponged and stippled in there. But when you step back, like so, they just look like worn bricks. Then we finished the windows, and this was fun. And I dry brushed, kind of gave it a wood grain effect. And then on the top, if you notice from before, we have the skull swinging up there, pretending to be our bell right now. We are going to carve a bell. We haven't gotten a chance to do it yet, but we will. We'll put a bell up there. And yeah, there is the mission. Oh yeah, I stuck one of my cactuses right there. <laughs> I put a black light on it. It looks really good, so I can't wait to pull the other ones out and finish carving the other ones I haven't done yet. So there you go.